So I fell off my bike at the Rice Museum and I have been very, very torn about whether to make a video about this because really it's very embarrassing for me. It's like the stupidest way to have an accident. Um, and what's even weirder actually is that I have footage of this. I, I'm going to be showing you footage of this accident because I was already filming. I was filming the bike ride from Vesta Park to the Rice Museum. I had my camera attached to my, my left hand shoulder. And you know, as we got to the museum, boom, fell off my bike. Um, and it's a very embarrassing accident because I tried to mount the curb and I'm putting this in inverted commas because it's not a curb. It's in my mind, I imagined it to be, to be this huge curb, but it's not, it's not even a curb. And I got stuck and I fell over. So let me show you what happened. Okay, stand up for a second. Where are you still met? How about my teeth? Teeth are okay. You're okay, love. Sorry. Is it bad? No, it's okay. Have you got some tissue? Yeah. It's only a tiny bit. My legs are really bad. I need to sit down. Let's find uh, there's some steps over there. Okay. I think you took the curve to. Yeah. Uh, I, I was just like, okay, we're turning, okay, go. I was just so keen. Please let the teeth be okay. So I cut my lip, I grazed my chin, and I fell pretty hard on my knee. So for the first four days, I couldn't really walk properly, and my knee is still healing up at the moment. But thankfully, the face is okay. Now, you'll hear in the video that I keep mentioning my teeth. And I just wanted to explain that very quickly. Back when I was living in Malaysia, I was coming back from a work trip in the evening. Um, I was at the train station. It was pouring with rain. So everything was like very slippery. And I slipped and went face first into the concrete. And I really messed up my mouth. Um, I, I had chipped teeth. Um, I needed to have fillings root canals, veneers. I spent so many hours at the dentist, multiple trips, and I absolutely don't want to go through that again. That was, that was not fun. Luckily, the helmet that I was wearing, it has like a little visor in, in the front. So as I came down on the floor, it took a lot of that impact, which I am so grateful for. So why am I posting this video online? Now, whilst it is embarrassing, um, in all seriousness, I really, really hope that there will be a beginner cyclist out there that happens to see this video and learns and takes something away from it. And, you know, personally, I was more worried about the tram lines. Like I have this like a little, like a little phobia about the tram lines because I have heard that your wheel can get stuck in the tram line and you can get thrown off your bike. Um, and that, yeah, that doesn't sound fun at all. And so the way to take tram lines is to ride perpendicular to them. So you're not riding in the same direction as the tram line, you're riding across it. And that's the same way that you should take on the curb as well. I've just been getting away with it up until now and I didn't fully appreciate um, how you should be treating the curb as well. So a bit of a strange video. I hope you enjoyed it anyways. It feels a little bit weird to be asking you to hit that like button if you enjoyed it um, and to subscribe, but you know, the option is there. And thank you so much for watching. Stay safe riding. Until next time, goodbye. I feel like I've reached a new interesting low of holding frozen croquettes to my face because I need to get the swelling down. Hmm? Hmm? Ha, 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 ha.